Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll solve question number four of the ISC specimen paper 2024. If you have not seen the previous solutions, you can view them by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started with question number four in this video. This is a debenture sum. Leo Limited, uh, listed in BFC, redeems its 9,000 10% debentures of rupees 100 each at a premium of 5% in installments as follows. Date of redemption, 31st March 21, 31st March 22, and 31st March 23, and the debentures to be redeemed are 2,000, 2,000, and 5,000. You are required to prepare the debenture redemption investment account for the years 2021, 22, and 22, 23, so only for these two years, and you are required to prepare 10% debentures account for just one financial year, which is 2021-22. All right, let's have a look. Debenture redemption investment account. As you know, you have to create it in the month of April whenever there is a redemption just in that financial year, the beginning of that financial year. If you are redeeming on 31st March 2021, in that case, you have to create it in the month of April 2020. For better understanding, what we can do is let's create it from April so that we get a visibility and then you will understand what is the ask here and how to achieve that ask. 2020, April 30, to bank account. Okay. Let's make that investment, which is, as you can see, 2000 worth of debentures are getting redeemed. In that case, 2000 into 100, which is the face value, into, as you know, 15% of interest of investment has to be made. Then that comes to 30,000. This is the investment which is made. And this remains for the entire year till the end of the year. So 2021, March 31, by balance CD. We are retaining this investment at the end of the year because in the next financial year, we are again redeeming the same amount of debenture. Instead of selling off the in investment here and again making another investment the very next month, it is retained. Okay, so the first financial year is done. Now the question wants you to do the ledger starting from 2021 22. So, in that case, what they expect you to write is April 1 to balance BD, which will be 30,000. This is expected. If you make it to bank account, you will be incorrect because we are retaining the previous balance that we have. In that case, end of the year, March 31. Again, we are not selling it off on the last day because we have another set of investments which are made which have to be made in the next financial year because we are redeeming more debentures in the year 23 okay so this is retained and carried forward to the next financial year for this month, this is the entry for the month of March. Okay, so the second financial year is done as well. Now we come to the next financial year, which is 2022, April 1 which is again to balance BD, the same amount. And on April 
30 we have to make another set of investment which is for the extra 3000 worth of debentures which is 3 lakh worth of debentures that we are redeeming in March 23 so we have to invest that in April 22 just at the beginning of that financial year so in that case 3000 into 100 into 0.15 45000 worth of investments we are making it and since there are no further redemptions happening in the subsequent financial year on 31st March 23 we will sell everything off all the investments nothing to be carried forward so by bank account 75,000 everything is sold off this is how the DRI account would look like as per the question you are required to do only this much the first portion I have done only to make you understand how your DRI account should start when you are starting it on April 1 21 all right let's have a look at the 10% debentures account again for better understanding we will prepare it for the prior year as well 2020 April 1 by balance BD we have total 9000 debentures so 9 lakh worth of debentures okay close of the year March 31 so on 31st March 2021 we are redeeming 2000 debentures so this will be two debenture holders account Two thousand into hundred, which is two lakhs. The rest is carried forward or carried down, which is worth seven lakhs. the CD is brought down to the next financial year beginning which is April 1 by balance PD which is 7 lakhs at the end of this financial year as well we are redeeming debentures 2000 debentures so this will be again the same thing to debenture holders account which will be 2 lakhs and to balance CD which will be 5 lakhs again as per the question you are required only to do this much only you are asked to prepare debentures account for this financial year so here you should be starting it with a buy balance BD of 7 lakhs to understand that you have to understand that in the previous financial year out of 9 lakh debentures you have redeemed 2 lakh worth of debentures and you are left with 7 lakh debentures okay these questions are there to test your understanding just for getting more clarity let us prepare the next financial year as well however 
as per the question that is not required. Y balance BD is 5 lakhs. Two debenture holders. Now you will see that the dis that these debentures are redeemed at a premium of 5%. That goes to premium on redemption of debentures account debit to debenture holders account and then again debenture holders account debit to bank. Premium doesn't come here as a part of 10% debentures account. That's why we are not taking that into consideration in the 10% debentures account. Okay, so this completes our 10% debentures account as well. Hope this was helpful. We'll catch you all in the next video with the next question that we have in the series. Stay tuned for more such videos. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments box below. Thanks for watching guys.